Hey, what's up guys? I'm making this video to respond to one of the comments that was posted on the channel about putting an image plane into the scene in Maya. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. But the first thing I want to make sure you're aware of, if you're a beginning Maya user and you're going to model to an image plane, you want to make sure that your images are the same size when you import them into Maya. Otherwise, you're going to end up with uh, weird results, incorrect results, and it's not going to match up. So if you happen to have Photoshop, or anything like that, any sort of image editing software, you want to make sure to edit them so that they're the same size or as close to the same size as you can possibly get. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start now, assuming that you've done that. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do when you uh, import an image is make sure that you go into your orthogra orthographic view panels, and you can do that by hitting the space bar. Okay, now this brings up four panels your perspective, top, front, and side. I'm going to load up the front view here. Okay, and to do that, you just hover over the front panel and you hit the space bar again. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and click View, go down to Image Plane, Import Image, and I'm just going to go ahead and load up the front view. Now it's going to load in pretty big, and I just, I'm just going to size this down to make this more manageable. Okay, and to do that, you just go into your, excuse me, let me, uh, you go into your attribute editor, which is located on this first tab on the far right over here. Okay, so if you don't have that activated, just go ahead and click that, and it'll bring up the attribute editor. Now you want to make sure you click on image plane one. Okay. Now my tab is already scrolled all the way down, down towards the bottom, but assuming yours isn't, you know, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says placement extras, and you just resize this. And I'm just going to resize it to 10. Okay, and the width and the height. Okay. Now that resized it down to something much more manageable. But you're going to notice that the image plane is still in the center of the grid. We need to move this back over here in the Z direction, the negative Z direction to be precise. Okay, so go ahead and highlight your image plane again. Excuse me, select it. And now we need to move this, like I said, back in the negative Z direction. And that's really easy to do because right here under the center tab, we have different attributes for e each axis. Anytime you see three different tabs here, that's going to signify each specific axis. The left tab signifying the X axis, the center tab signifying the Y axis and the right tab signifying the Z axis. So it's very easy to remember. X, Y, Z. So we're going to move this back in the Z direction to negative 12. Okay. I already know the pre-existing measurements so we, can, we don't have to deal with trying to figure that out. Now that we have it back in, in the proper distance, we need to move this up so that the bottom of the image is in line with the grid. Okay. So now we need to move it in the positive y direction to 4.5. Okay, so now we've been able to put this image right where it belongs. Okay, so now we're going to repeat that same process for the profile view. Okay, so now we're going to go into our side panel, hover over it, and, and hit the space bar, like I said before. Once again, view, image plane import image and now we'll go to profile once again it's going to load in really large so now we need to size that back down again now we need to switch the attributes around instead of moving it back in the Z direction this time we're going to move it back in the X direction okay so highlight the X tab here and move it back negative 12 and up in the y direction, the positive y direction, to 4.5. All right, so the image planes are now loaded, but now we still need to do some minor tweaking to these front and profile images because if I activate this front prof profile image, you're going to notice here that the center line does not go down the exact center of the face. Okay, I usually use the tip of the nose as a judgment. Okay, so we see the center line is going right over the nostril. We don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that image, and we're going to just move this in the X direction to say 0.25. Okay, 
Okay, that should be perfectly fine. Yep, now it's going right down the bridge of the nose, which is what we want. Now we want to do a minor tweak of the profile view. Okay. And let's say 0.25 again. Only in the negative direction, I apologize. All right. So, there you have it. You have your image planes in, and now you can go ahead and model to your reference.